If the father of the home is never in the home, it's not a home, it's just a house. If the mother of the home doesn't have the time to spend speaking to the children or the father, it's not a home, it's just a, it's a mere accommodation. That's what it is. It's just a roof. That's what, it's a bedding. To make it a home, you need to have a family. To make it a family, you need to have communication. To be able to communicate, you need to spend time with each other. You need to put your phone aside. Turn off the Wi-Fi of your house, 10 o'clock at night, off. 9 o'clock at night, switch it off. So that you are not on your phone and your kids are also not. We tell our children, you are on the phone whole day, whole night. You know what? If they could, they would say, Mom, you're on the phone whole day, whole night, every day, every night. I'm only on it once in a while. But if mom says nine o'clock, we turn it off. I'm off, you guys are off. Someone is dying, they will call you. They will phone you. I know the excuses. People say, no, I leave everything on because what if someone is dying? What if someone is dying? If they're dying, they will call you. There are so many ways of getting hold of you. But if you don't have time because everything is to do with the internet and why do you have a family? What's the point? Wasting time. May Allah help us to help our children. May Allah help us to help ourselves and then help our children. And wallahi, my brothers and sisters, the globe is struggling today. People are being brainwashed into extremism. You know, one of the reasons is the family unit is no longer as solid as it was. If the family unit is solid and the communication is good and there is a decent understanding and we go to pray together and we go to listen to our lectures together, we will be able to guideline our children. We will be able to guide our children in and go to places that are meaningful where they will have a balanced upbringing and they don't have to resort to something that is bad and evil. They don't have to do things behind our backs because we have a good communication. The minute their mind is deviating slightly, we will pick it up in the discussion we have with them because we have daily discussions. A lot of us do not have daily discussions with our children. I asked one man, do you ever kiss your daughters? He says, daughters? No ways. You don't kiss your daughters. No. How can I do that? I say, why not? I'm not talking about kissing them on the lips. No, we're talking about kissing them on the forehead, kissing them on the hand, embracing them, telling them, I love you. I love you so much. I miss you. Send them a message. Your daughters are growing up, your sons. How many of us have teenage sons? We never message them. They've got phones. They get messages from the whole world. They never got a message from dad. Maybe not even from mom sometimes. Message them. I'm at work thinking about you. Love you. Miss you. Wallahi, see what it does for you and your home. See. Don't be the old school. We say, how can I say I love you to my children? What, what do they mean? You know, I remember the old man. One day I gave a talk about how important it is to say I love you to your wife. He came back to me and he says, I've never ever said I love you to her. But I know she loves me. And I said, uncle, your generation is already gone. You are one of those who are fortunate to have remained behind. New generation, you need to say it 20 times a day, minimum, minimum. That's why everything is free. Subhanallah, the internet, free. WhatsApp calling, free. Because they know you have to send it. But the problem is we send it to the wrong number. <laughs> we send it to the wrong number. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us, really. It's something important, something good to learn. Remember to use your tongue, just like dhikr of Allah is a very great act of worship. To say good words to your children is a very great act of worship. One day the Prophet ﷺ kissed Al-Hasan ibn Ali radiallahu anhu when he was a baby. That was his grandson. So Al-Aqra ibn Habis was sitting near him and he says, you kissed your grandson. I have 10 of them. I haven't kissed even one. The Prophet says, man la yarham la yurham. Whoever doesn't show mercy will not be shown mercy. These are my children. These are my grandchildren. I will kiss them. So to kiss your children is a sunnah. It's an act of worship. It is an act of worship. If to kiss your children is an act of worship, imagine what type of an act of worship it would be to kiss your wife. Allahu Akbar. Or husband. Mashallah. May Allah help us. Please don't do that in public. It needs to be done in private. I always believe those who do it in public, in private, they don't really get along. This is just showing that we get along. Those who really love each other don't need to show. They know. 